We so what we're doing here today in this video is we're talking about our first experience of the sub pod, right? Now, I really believe the sub pod is a great worm farm for underground farming, and we set one up. So I've used them before. We've set them up in community gardens at Subpod, have supplied, and they've absolutely loved them. Followers have been using them here on the channel. Barry Bazza, I think if you're watching this, mate, you know you use them. I'm sure you're going to comment. Subpod's awesome. Down below in the comments there. If you're using a Subpod or had any problems or issues with it, let us know in the comments box down below, and we will cover that. Now, we are not sponsored by Subpod, but we are affiliated with them. So if you buy any products regarding the side pod, we get 10% and there's a 10% off coupon code if you use purchase through Marty's Garden and you're supporting the channel that way in another way and getting value back. Now, we started putting it together. Well, Shirley did and I was filming it because Shirley's my DIY lady because <laughs> I'm not real good at DIY stuff. But together we pulled it off. What you now, it went, went, when we first opened it and pulled it out of the box, what did you really think when you first saw it? Like, what were your initial thoughts? Um, the worms. Worms. What about worms? I don't like worms. Yes, yeah, she doesn't. <laughs> so we're going to see how well she does here because she doesn't like compost worms. Puts her hand in. She saw a big bunch the other yesterday when we were harvesting. Freaked out. <laughs> and ran back. <laughs> it was pretty, pretty entertaining for me. But, uh, you know, she put the gloves on, got in and, and helped me um, sort of sift some and get ready for the compost. But we're talking about the sub pod. So obviously you don't like compost worms, but you're starting to learn about what they do and how helpful they are and how they fertilize the garden. So we've got our own composting system um, using all our waste and everything. Now, the sub pod, because it sits in the ground, uh, it doesn't fluctuate with temperature as much and it fertilizes the garden with the worms moving in and out and moving into the central zone. But our first, my first thoughts on it when I pulled it up and put it together again after seeing one for a year or so was like, this is really good quality material and lots of holes in it for the worms to sort of move in and out. And then there's the tears, the middle section where you can separate it. And But we did have one problem that we want to talk about. now. There's someone building in the background, so here banging. Excuse that, sorry. We are in sort of country suburbia. But what was the main problem, really, that we come across? We went through all the stages until we got to the hinge, right? And then what? And then we didn't, we can't figure out which, which one. So the length of the pins. Yeah, yeah. So what happened? Tell us about the length of the pins for the top and bottom pin. Um, the longer one should be at the top and the shorter hinge should be on the bottom. Yeah, the shorter pin. And so we had it upside down and so we're trying to get it into the holes and the little pins are quite hard to sort of push through. And you've got to hold the lid. Someone's got to hold the lid or put the lid up in place so you can push the, the pins through. Yeah. Now you had to get me to push the pin through, right? Because it was yes. just a bit hard on your fingers. Mm. So a woman would have to have some type of bit of hard piece or something, or a little plier or something, or someone with a hand problem may have a little bit of an issue putting it together. But other than that, really, it was pretty easy, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just the hinge. It was a little bit confusing at first. So the two mighty brains. <laughs> We got it, we got it together. So I'll just explain a little bit further. And why do they have to start banging? <laughs> they never bang around here, I swear. He stopped. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> so the hinge, right? We put it in upside down, round the wrong way, pins in around the wrong side. There's like three steps on the paper showing us what to do. And then you, there was a part with the washer. So tell us a part about the washer top hinge. Because um, at first we, we, make it, um, we made a mistake. It should be, the one that we put on the bottom should be at the top. So we put it on the reverse side. So the washer should be, always be at the bottom part. There's two washers at the bottom, Yeah, right? at the bottom part. And we were putting a washer at the top and that made the pin too short. And we couldn't get the pin through. Yeah. Now when we put the pin through, it's a bit short that now, these sub pods, the one we got is about a year, over a year old, so they may have fixed this issue. But the pin was a bit short, wasn't it? 
Yeah, like it's it should so hard be to... should be longer, right? Eh? Yeah. But then if it's longer. if it's probably if it's not tight, there might be too much leeway on the yeah, maybe. like the maybe the hinge moves around mm. quite a bit. But anyway, that's our first experience with the sub pod, really. Are you right there? Yeah. What you looking at? The sub pod. <laughs> It's right over there. Our, kind of, our audience is right here. But uh, yeah, we just want to share our full experience with setting it up and getting it going here because it's going to be a playlist going right through with the sub pod using it. And also, you'll see it in other sections of our video. All right, so have you got anything else to say, Shirley? Nothing. Nothing else? That's it. Thank you for watching, guys. See, she's got it. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Here we go. Bye for now. Bye. Here it comes, Cyclone Head. We haven't got any bloopers for the end of this show. Go, go, hunt. Push the hand. Oh, don't push the camera over. Bye for now, guys. So what was that? How did you do that? You went, what? Hi, <laughs> what? Hi, guys. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribing might become Marty's and Shirley's garden channel and <laughs> the way things are going. <laughs>